I just wanted to get some more quarters. I came last week and I bought some in each treasury 550 each. I am at Attic Treasures in Watkinsville, Georgia. This is a very interesting store owned by an amazing husband and wife. If you're interested in checking them out, Google them and visit them. I guarantee you'll be a fun trip. Um, I think I think they might be. Uh, he reached underneath and got them. So there's like a box of quarters. While I'm buying quarters, my son will do a quick walk around the store and show you what they have. They mainly offer military antiquities from the Civil War and the World Wars, along with lots of other Native American artifacts and other Americana oddities. Enjoy. So the reason why I like to buy silver quarters is, as you saw, I just paid five fifty for one of them. Uh, now you might think that's a lot for a for a coin, but you know if you buy a little over time, say you spend you buy a, a, a couple each week or whatever, eventually you can stack uh, like a tube. This is forty right here. That's usually what a tube is. is about forty quarters. Um, so this is about at silver's price today two hundred and twenty dollars. Uh, now, if silver goes up 10%, it's $242. If it goes up 20%, you're holding about $264. And that's uh, $20 to $40 of free money. Now, those prices are milk price. Uh, so that's what should be the lowest price you should sell them for. You shouldn't sell any silver coins for less than melt. Uh, now, you can sell these for retail. Uh, on eBay and Macari, and maybe you even have someone that likes to buy coins from you, you can sell those for more of a retail price. Retail is usually about 1.4, so um, 550 times 1.4 is about $7.30. So let's say 750 because that's usually about what they sell in, in uh, retail stores. So you can make $2 off this coin right away by selling it at a retail price. Uh, and 40 of these at retail price is $300. So you could literally buy these at, for $220 and sell them right away for $300. Uh, or you can, st you can stack them and hold them. Uh, and if the price doubles, you can possibly sell these for $600. So that's the, um, that's the financial reason why people stack silver. Is because you can put money to the side, like a savings account, or you know, put money back for rainy day, or whatever, uh, or as an investment, and you could sell them in the future for a higher price. So that's the main reason why people stack silver. Uh, but you can also sell them for retail, uh, and there's also some quarters that are worth more than melt. Uh, so here's just a few that I've put to the side. Uh, so here is a, a barber quarter. This one would probably go closer to nine dollars. Uh, and this is a, a State on Liberty quarter, about $9. So these go for a higher premium because they're older. Uh, these are proof. You can see how shiny they are. And they're shiny because these are not meant for circulation. These came out of proof kits, and these will go for a higher premium. So if uh, one of these retail go for about $7.50, these probably go closer to $8.50, $9.50. So if you are able to get some proof quarters for... Like regular melt price, say five fifty, six dollars, whatever the melt is at that time, you could instantly sell these for a couple bucks higher. Um, so you know, sometimes I stack these for arbitrage, where if I get them for a low price, I sell them online. Um, others ones I stack. A lot of these I've had for years. So that's uh, one thing you can do. You can um, do little arbitrage recorders, or you can just stack them and hold them till the price goes higher, sell them, um, and you, you'll always be able to get your money back. I mean, even if silver drops 10% and you have to sell it, if you pay 220 for this, you sell it for 200, that's still money you put back and money you got back. 
uh, in some states, you don't have to pay tax when you buy it. So it's a straight uh, price and no tax. In Georgia, there's no tax. Uh, that's what state I'm in. So you can see some, these are some of the better quarters. Uh, another thing that's fun to do with quarters is to complete books. So that's another little extra hobby. So this is a hobby that actually pays off. A lot of hobbies, you'll never get your money back. But with coin collecting, you will, especially silver. So, uh, and one of these books will also help you with um, the key dates and better dates. Usually these books will tell you the mintage. The lower the mintage, the higher the premium. Uh, most quarters are in the several millions, but you can see there's some that are in the thousands. And, or the single millions, those are worth a lot more. Uh, so that's something else you can do. And also you're stacking, you buy these at a lower price, you sell them at a higher price. Uh, just like a, a stock or a crypto, you buy it when it's low, you sell when it's high, but these are what's considered commodity. Because silver is a commodity. So you can see here, now not all quarters are silver. Uh, like I said earlier, um, pre-65 quarters. So this 65 is not silver, but all the ones prior are silver. Here's another book that's extremely rewarding to fill. Now this one is more than just quarters. You can see the quarters here, but also the half dollars to dollars and the smaller denomination coins. Now these, if you are to get each coin near melt, this would cost you a roughly about $100, $120 to fill complete. And these will sell for $200. Uh, so that's a really good rewarding one. Well, I hope I helped you learn a few things about silver and quarters. And uh, another thing that's just great with silver quarters is the sound when you throw them on a table or you, when you shake them in your hand. But just that sound, just knowing that you have silver in your hands, listen to that sound just jiggling around. It's just one of the best sounds in the world. And here's a bonus tip. So when you're putting your coins back into a tube, you might think you have to line them up. And you think, man, this takes forever. But you don't have to because just like a manhole cover uh you see like construction workers or whatever utility workers just throwing the lids on uh well that's the same with coins because they only go in one way so if you put it like this and shake them they'll all go in now you learn two things or more i hope thank you